thousands of people die all the time trying to cross the Mediterranean from North Africa and the Middle East into Europe. Uh, I mean thousands of people. They take these extremely rickety boats, often uh, organized by gangsters who squeeze the last little bit of money these desperados have, get them on these rickety boats, then try to evade the various military boats that try to prevent this from happening, and often in the process capsize, and then the people in the middle of the Mediterranean uh, drown. There have been thousands already this year, and there will be more thousands coming. Uh, each time this happens, there's a great deal of gnashing of teeth and wailing, and this is really terrible, all these dead bodies rolling up on the Mediterranean. It, not good for tourism. Uh, you do want the person swimming next to you not to be dead. Um, so it's troubling, and it's clearly troubling because you can see that the leaders in Europe say they're troubled, so it, it must be. Um, so I wanted to offer some economic analysis, that's what we do here, about this. If you have an economic system, capitalism in our case, that systematically organizes extreme disparities between wealth in one part of the world than another, here comes a real shocker. People are going to want to leave the part of the world that the system drowns in poverty and move to the part that isn't affected like that. This has been going on roughly 10,000 years. It shouldn't come as a big shock. If you don't want migration, and if you don't want unsafe migration, murderous migration, deadly loss of life, then don't organize and don't accept an economic system that produces the disparities which are the beginning of all of this anyway. And if you're not going to deal with those disparities, don't play on our ignorance by suggesting that having another boat in the water is a solution to this problem. Desperate migrants find ways. They always have. And if it kills them, they still find those ways. And then they die in large numbers, which they are in many parts of the world. But an honest approach would begin to say, let's ask why this happens. Why would people rip up their lives, leave their homes, their families, their communities, their languages, and go to a whole other part of the world at enormous cost, they have no money, at enormous risk to life and limb of, their, of themselves, their children, their spot. Why would people do that if they weren't desperate? And if you ask them, they tell you nine times out of ten, this has to do with economic disparity. And if you do a questionnaire, and you find out a different answer, it's because in many parts of the world economic disparity is not accepted as a way to allow you to get in. You have to claim political persecution. Since migrants are just as smart as everybody else, they will claim whatever gets them in. Okay.